Come here now, girl. Hey guys, your party game done. We're here to do a live a free action of Fairy Tale Chapter 512 Sting for White Shadow Dragon. This chapter of Fairy Tale felt really, really subpar to me. Uh another yet yeah, again, another Spriggan gets defeated in what three chapters, I think it is. Uh I think you might have to exclude the chapter where Natsu first went into his fever dream. It would be like three chapters. So that sucks. Uh and another thing is Rakid's hype is complete bullshit. Like, I really hope he's not the same level as August and <laughs> Eileen, because if he's the same level as Eileen and August and Sting and Rogue combine powers enough to beat him, then honestly, Jalal and the Oreshian Six should have easily taken out, um, should have taken out, not easily, but should have taken out August. I mean, seriously. Uh, I, I don't think Sting and Rogue could single-handedly take out Jalal plus the Orishian 6. The Orishian 6 are weak, but Jalal took out his Brigand in one shot. Do we all remember that? Yeah, Jalal did that. Uh, so, apparently, by Fairy Tail standards, Jalal is stronger than his Brigand, so... There you go. Uh, and also, the fight was not good. Like, it was just punches and kicks, blasts. What's new, right? In Fairy Tale, really hard to tell what's going on. Action, uh, and then you had this team up where like, uh, these guys are trying to, where Sting's trying to figure out how to go into the shadow. That was kind of cool. And then Kagura stepped back up, and she actually has gravity powers. Like someone commented, she had gravity powers. I completely forgot she had gravity, which makes me question why she didn't just use gravity powers and like he make him stand in one place and have Sting just. Mass massacre him with just one massive blast of shadow drag sh light, white shadow energy makes no fucking sense to me as the or why she didn't just use her gravity powers to keep him in one place why she sliced him up apparently she has gravity powers sometimes when the plot needs her to have gravity powers she's gonna have gravity powers otherwise no gravity powers <laughs> that shit makes me question like why because what does gravity, what does gravity do to time again, the less gravity, time dilation, I mean, it could have been a cool fight against Dimera where she was just barely able to keep up with Dimera because she was dilating time or something, eh, I'm going off track, I'm going off track, probably should have used the gravity powers earlier, I'm just saying, uh, honestly it's not a bad fight, uh, I don't like that Master Mark decided to copy Doflamingo's strings, I mean, this shit is kind of the exact same as the Flamingo. <laughs> I mean, it's like, this is literally like straight up the Flamingo strings. You can't even argue this. Like, it's, oh, it's made of white and shadow. It's not the, it's not the exact same, but it's pretty much the same. <laughs> Check out my buddy. Uh, what else is Mashima? I think we should start a fucking like poll. What else is Mashima going to steal from One Piece? I mean, he's already taking Haki, Guild of Shanks. I mean, fuck it. This, I'm telling you, fuck you. <laughs> uh, he's gonna keep going, man. Rashima, we love you. I don't like you at all, but like, some people love you, but like, dude, stop. <laughs> and Rakid's, as I, I think I've said, Rakid's hype's a little high. I don't know how he was gonna tank one attack from, uh, what do you call it? One attack from Acnologia, yet alone be able to fight Acnologia in any way, shape, or form. Uh, I think he'd get wrecked. Right. Like, all Arknogia has to do is hit him once. Yeah, like, it doesn't matter what he's feeling. All he has to do is just summon up enough force to hit him one time. We see his ref looking sad, though. Uh, that's cool, I guess. So that's really just not, like, there. all there is. Uh, then we have the fifth part of the chapter, which I advise you all to skip. Uh, if you are a Nam fan, I think this is, what, the tenth time it's been confirmed ever since the start of the series that Nali is a thing. Uh, obviously, as someone who doesn't even care about Natsu or Lucy and wishes them dead and to die in a horrible fire, ironically, and die, and they just keep surviving. I don't give a shit about Natsu or Nalu, whatever the fuck you want to call it, but if you care, there you go, confirmed again for the sixth billion time. Um, yeah, the rest of the dialogue's really boring. Apparently, Akologia's skills fell off one time when some kind-hearted woman sold him a sweater. 
Okay. And apparently Natsu's on the brink of debt. Oh, I wonder is he getting the power up? Because we all know he's getting a fucking power up. It's, it's like... It's not a, he's not dying, he's power upping. In a fairy tale style. And Happy believes the ref wholeheartedly because he's the enemy. I actually, I'm starting to question these fairy tale. I like, I, did they not have you? I know the ref is right. If Natsu kills the ref, Natsu dies. I know the ref is correct. But Natsu is their enemy. Uh, sorry, the ref's their enemy. Is that no reason any fairy tale character doubts what the enemy says? Ray is a perfect example of this. He beats Einville. Einville's like, oh, uh, Natsu's END. He doesn't question if Natsu's END. He doesn't, like, take two seconds to, like, try to reconcile, oh, this guy's the enemy. Is he? he just believes him and straight up goes to kill Natsu. Like, <laughs> what, if, what if Einville was wrong? What if, like, Einville was completely wrong? The Grey would have just killed Natsu, like, and it would have been over. <laughs> it's just so stupid. Uh, but again, believing the enemy for no fucking reason. Uh, as I said, the uh, chapter wasn't very good in my opinion, uh, but it's fairy tale. When is it ever good? Well, except like two weeks ago was pretty good. The fight against Kagura. Anyway, see you guys next week.